There's a lot of history in Studio 4C. You catch a predator, the XFL halftime show, storage for broken copier equipment, and now, deal breakers. Liz Lemon's got her very own talk show. I'm a star, I'm on top. Somebody bring me some ham. I used to sing that when I was a kid. Yes, well, it's really happening for you, Lemon, between TGS and this. You're like a swarthy, big-hipped Kelly Ripper. I know, I mean, if this works, my life will be totally different. I have to go back into space, Liz. I hope you enjoyed the kissing followed by my genuine interest in that TV dance competition. Bye, astronaut Mike Dexter. <sighs> Liz, snap out of it. Jenna's locked herself in her dressing room. What? No, go away. This is my fantasy, Pete. I knew it. You're blonde in your fantasies. It looks terrible. Jenna, what's wrong? My niece drew a picture of me and I look so fat! Well, I really like your hair today. Thank you! But you don't know what it looks like! Because of the door! Wow, she finally figured that out. Okay, Jenna, you win. If you're really not feeling up to doing the show this week, I know that Jenny McCarthy is in town. My nemesis? Never. Oh my God, I bet she put Charlotte up to this. Lemon, that is why Deal Breakers is going to work, because your star is a crazy person, and my star is you. And I am not crazy, because unlike Jenna, my mother never used my beauty pageant winnings to buy her married boyfriend a motorcycle. Exactly. Boy, if this thing works, it could be my ticket out. This job is starting to get to me. Lately, I've been shoplifting just to feel in control. Because no one knows I took the candy bar. No one but Peter. <sighs> Uh, Liz Lemon, I need to talk to you. What's up, Trey? Come over here and check out my corner. No trap. What? Come over here, I said in my normal tone of voice. Liz Lemon, recently I realized that I have a hole in my heart. And not the one I got from eating batteries. It's because I don't have a daughter. Oh, that's actually sweet. I want a baby girl, Liz Lemon. I mean, having a daughter is like going to the NBA All-Star Weekend. It changes you. It makes you want to take your wife to the doctor. Well, I think that's great, Trey. I'm glad you feel that way, because Angie's on her way up, and I want you to tell her for me. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. Oh, yes, you are. Click. Huh? I said click to distract you from the sound of the handcuffs. What? Uh-uh. Why are you handcuffed to the bookshelf I built for my husband? Tracy did this to make me tell you that he wants to have a baby girl. You did good. Really? Have you lost your mind? I'm not gonna raise another child by myself. What are you implying? I'm a very attentive father. Oh, please, Tracy. Where were you last week doing Tracy Jr.'s birthday party? There was a better kid's birthday party up the street. I cannot believe you made me come here for this. Now I won't have enough time to shop for Christmas presents and still get my hair did. Your hair did? You just got your hair did. You have to get your hair did again? It needs to be did every week. Maybe we could undid these handcuffs. Oh, Gracious. You know what? Keep your hair appointment. I'll do the Christmas shopping this year to prove to you I can be reliable and that I can finish everything that I... Come back! 